हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल लैपटेक वर्ल्ड माई सेल्फ किशोर वाघानी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रदेश लोक सेवा आयोग नेपाल लैब टेक्नीशियन एग्जाम क्वेश्चन पेपर दिस एग्जाम वाज हेल्ड ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ नवंबर टू थाउजेंड दिस सीरीज ऑफ क्वेश्चन पेपर वी हैव स्पेशली प्रिपेयर्ड एज इट कंटेन सम ऑफ द बेसिक एंड मच इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स that every technician should be aware of before appearing for any lab technician exam so it is going to be very important for those who are going to be appeared in the gpssb or upnhm or ossc lab technician exams so it is my kind request to watch the complete solution of this question paper and before starting the solution of this question paper if you are new to my channel then please subscribe my channel lab tech world and press the bell icon to enable notifications of my next upcoming videos because in this channel i am regularly uploading the videos of mcqs previous year question papers and notifications of various recruitment with their syllabus that is going to be very helpful for those who are preparing for the government jobs in the various stages for the post of lab technician let's start today's question paper question number 1 vdrl is a specific test for ऑप्शन नंबर वन सिफिलिस नंबर टू सालमोनेला नंबर थ्री शिगेरा नंबर फोर नन ऑफ दी अबव फैक्ट अवेलेबल रिगार्डिंग दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज द वी डी आर एल दैट इज विनरल डिजीज रिसर्च लेबोरेटरी टेस्ट इज अ स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट फॉर सिफिलिस इट मेजर्स सब्सटेंस कॉल्ड एंटीबॉडीज विच योर बॉडी मे प्रोड्यूस इफ यू हैव कम इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद दी बैक्टीरिया दैट कॉज इज दी सिफिलिस सो इट इज अ स्पेसिफिक टेस्ट फॉर Syphilis. So option number one will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number two. Which of the following organism is not a gram-negative bacteria? And the options are number one, Salmonella. Number two, Klebsiella. Number three, Brucella. Number four, Clostridium. Fact available regarding this question: It is Clostridium species are anaerobic, fermentative, spore-forming, gram-positive bacteria. Whereas Salmonella species are gram-negative, flagellated, facultative, anaerobe. एंड्रोबिक बेसिल आई कैरेक्टराइज बाय ओ एच एन वी आई एंटीजेंस ब्रुसेली आर द ग्राम नेगेटिव कोको बेसिल आई मेजरिंग अबाउट पॉइंट सिक्स टू वन पॉइंट फाइव माइक्रोमीटर बाय पॉइंट फाइव टू पॉइंट सेवन माइक्रोमीटर इन डायमीटर डायमेंशन एंड कैप्सिला न्यूमोनी इज अ ग्राम नेगेटिव नॉन मोटाइल एन कैप्सुलेटेड लेक्ट्रोज फॉर्मेंटिंग फैकल्टेटिव एनरोबिक रोड बैक्टीरियम सो फ्रॉम द गिवन इन्फॉर्मेशन वी कैन से इट इज क्लोस्टेडियम दैट इज नॉट द ग्राम नेगेटिव which is gram positive so rest of the three salmonella klebsiella and brucella are the examples of gram negative bacteria so option number 4 clostridium is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 3 which of the following is catalase negative and the options are option number 1 staphylococcus aureus number 2 enterococcus faecalis number 3 escherichia coli number 4 klebsiella pneumoniae fact available regarding this question it is catalase test test the presence of catalase an enzyme that break down the harm, harmful substance hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen examples of catalase positive organism are escherichia coli enterobacter staphylococcus aureus klebsiella shigella klebsiella shigella yersinia proteus salmonella serechia pseudomonas mycobacterium tuberculosis aspergillus cryptococcus and rhodococcus whereas catalase negative organisms are streptococcus and enterococcus species so from the given information we can say it is option number 2 step enterococcus faecalis is the correct answer which is the catalase negative organism move to the next question number 4 which of the following method is used for the sterilization of culture media and the options are option number 1 hot air oven number 2 autoclave number 3 filtration number 4 uv radiation information available regarding this question it is most culture medias will require final sterilization in an autoclave at 121 degree celsius for 20 minute the ph of the dehydrated medium has been adjusted by the manufacturer so that the final ph of the prepared medium conforms with the label specification when the medium has been closed cooled at 25 degrees celsius so we can say it is culture medias are sterilized by the autoclave autoclaving at 121 degrees celsius for 20 minutes 
So option number 2 autoclave is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 5. Bright stain in hematology is prepared with which solvent? And the options are number 1 acetone, number 2 iso, propanol, propanol, number 3 acetone free methanol, number 4 all of the above. Fact available regarding this question it is right stain is a type of is a type of polychromatic staining solution which is a mixture of methylene blue and eosine. The methylene blue and eosine is a basic and acidic dye. This helps to induce multiple colors when applied to the cells. As it's a it is a methanol based stain, thus it does not require any special fixation steps prior to the staining. The methanol works as a fixative as well as also as a solvent. This fixative agent does not alter the cell and helps them to get attached to the glass slide. So we can say it is methanol that is used as the solvent as, a, as well as the fixative in the right stain. So option number 3 methanol is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 6. Which of the following microorganism contains either DNA or RNA as its genetic material? And the options are option number 1 bacteria, number 2 rickettsia, number 3 fungi, number 4 virus. Fact available regarding this question it is a virus is a small collection of genetic code either DNA or RNA surrounding by the protein code. A virus cannot replicate alone virus must infect the cell and use components of the host cell to make the copies of themselves. So it is virus that contains RNA or DNA as its genetic material. So option number four virus will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number seven. Which of the following is a negative stain and the options are number one gram stain number two Albert stain number three India ink number four AFB stain. Fact available regarding this question it is capsules stains very poorly with reagents used in simple staining so it is stained with negative staining method negative staining method contrast a translucent dark colored background with stained cell but an unstained capsule the background is formed with indian ink or nigrosine or congoride indian ink is difficult to obtain nowadays however nigrosine is easily available or acquired so we can say it is Nigrosine, Congo Red or India Ink that is used in the negative staining. Option number 3 will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 8. Polymerase chain reaction PCR is used for the detection of option number 1 antibodies, number 2 proteins, number 3 antigens, number 4 nucleic acid. Fact available regarding this question it is PCR means polymerase chain reaction. It is a test you it is a test to detect genetic material from a specific organism such as a virus. The test detects the presence of a virus if you have the virus at the time of the test. The test could also detect fragment of the virus or its genetic material after you are no, lo no longer infected. So in general it is used to detect the DNA or RNA or nucleic acid of the virus. So, Option number 4, nucleic acid will be the correct answer for this question. Nucleic acid is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 9. Exoerythrocytic schizogony is seen in all the species of the malaria, malarial parasite except option number 1, P. vivax, number 2, P. ovel, number 3, P. falciparum, number 4, P. malaria. And the information available regarding this question it is schizogony is the process of asexual reproduction during which the nucleus undergoes division preceding cell division. The first called exoerythrocytic schizogony occurs in the liver and is initiated by these sporozoids. The resulting merozoids then invade the erythrocytes or RBCs and undergoes repeated rounds of merogony called erythrocytic schizogony. Exoerythrocytic schizogony stage occurs with P. vivax, P. malaria and P. ovel whereas the parasite remain in the latent form in the liver whereas in P. falciparum it does not have the latent form. So it is exoerythrocytic schizogony does not occurs in the P. falciparum. So you can say it is 
P. Falsipiram option number 3 will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 10. K39 test is used as a screening test for option number 1 malaria, number 2 kalaza, number 3 filariasis, number 4 dengue. Fact available regarding this question it is the most common serological test used in the diagnosis of kalaza are the direct agglutination test that is DAT and the recombinant K39 test or dipstick test. This test indicates the presence of antibodies against Leishmania. Therefore, con confirming the parasites is or was present in the body. So, you can say it is DAT or recombinant K39 test are the test for the Kalazar. So, option number 2. Kalazar will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 11. Platelets are produced by option number 1. Myeloblast, megakaryoblast. Number 3, megakaryocytes. Number 4, myelocytes. And the information available regarding this question, it is platelets are produced in the bone marrow, the same as the red cells and the most of the white blood cells. Platelets are produced from very large bone marrow cells called megakaryocytes, whereas myelocyte is one of the stage in the development of the granulocytic series of white blood cells, especially, especially neutrophils, in which granules first appears in the cell cytoplasm. So, we can say it is megakaryocytes that produces the platelets and myelocytes that produces the WBCs especially neutrophils. So, from the given information we can say platelets are produced by megakaryocytes. Option number 3 will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 12. Which of the following chemical is commonly used as a decalcifying agent? And the options are number 1 citric acid. Number 2 nitric acid, number 3 acetic acid, number 4 hydrochloric acid. Fact available regarding this question it is decalcification describes the technique for removing minerals from bone and other calcified tissues so that good quality paraffin sections can be prepared that will preserve the all essential microscopic elements. 6 decalcifying agents namely neutral ethylene diamond tetraacetic acid decalcifying solution. Number 2, 5% nitric acid. Number 3, perinase fluid. Number 4, formic nitric acid solution. Number 5, 5% 5 trichloroacetic acid solution. And number 6, 10% formic acids were used as the common decalcifying agents or solutions. So, we can say it is from the given option, it is nitric acid that is used as the decalcifying agent. So, option number 2 will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 13. Which of the following eggs of parasite does not float in the saturated salt solution? And the options are number 1. Fertilized eggs of Ascaris lumbricoids. Number 2. Unfertilized eggs of Ascaris lumbricoids. Number 3. Eggs of Hymenolopsis nana. Number 4. Eggs of Encyclostoma duodenalis. Fact available regarding this question it is examples of helminths or parasites whose eggs floats on the saturated salt, salt solutions are number one fertilized eggs of Ascaris lumbricoids number two eggs of Trichuris trichura number three eggs of Immunolopsis nana number four eggs of Encyclostoma duodenalis and number five eggs of Entrobius vermicularis so from the given information we can say it is Unfertilized eggs of Ascaris lumbricoids is the eggs that cannot float on the saturated salt solution. So, option number 2 will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 14. Which is the commonest fungal infection occurs in COVID-19 infections? And the options are number 1 aspergillosis, number 2 candidiasis, number 3 blastomycosis, number 4 mucormycosis. And the fact available regarding this question it is people with severe COVID-19 such as those in the intensive care unit that is ICUs are particularly vulner vulnerable to the bacterial and fungal infections. The most common fungal infection in the patients with COVID-19 includes mucormycosis. These fungal infection co-infections are reported with the increasing frequency and can be associated with severe illness and sometimes in the death. So, from the given information we can say it is 
mucormycosis that is the most commonest fungal infection occurs in the COVID-19 patient. So option number 4 will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 15. Bright stain is a option number 1 basic stain, number 2 acidic stain, number 3 Romanovsky stain, number 4 regressive stain. And the fact available regarding this question it is Romanovsky stains are the stains that are used in the hematology and cytological studies. To differentiate cells in microscopic examination of blood and bone marrow samples. These stains are also applied to detect the presence of parasites in the blood such as malarial parasites. These are there are various Romanovsky stains staining types that are applied to the same principles. They include number one Jimsa stain, number two right and right Jimsa stain, number three May Grunwald stain, number four Leishmania stain. Leishman stain sorry so we can say it is right stain is an example of Romanovsky or version of the Romanovsky stain so option number three Romanovsky stain is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 16 immunoglobulins are produced by option number one erythrocytes number two lymphocytes number three monocytes number four basophils fact available regarding this question it is Immunoglobulins are glycoproteins, mo glycoprotein molecules that are produced by plasma cells formed from B lymphocytes in response to an immunogen or antigen which functions as antibodies. These are specific and form an integral part of the humoral immunity. So you can say it is generally produced from plasma cells derived from the or pr produced from the formed from the B lymphocyte. So here option number 2 lymphocyte will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 17. Prolonged bleeding time is seen in option number 1 thrombocytopenia, number 2 anemia, number 3 rheumatic fever, number 4 chronic disease. Fact available regarding this question it is diseases that cause prolonged bleeding time includes thrombocytopenia, Disseminated intravascular coagulation that is DIC, Bernard Soller disease and Glanzmann's thrombosthenia, aspirin and other cyclooxygenase inhibitors can also significantly prolong the bleeding time. So from the given information we can say it is thrombocytopenia that prolongs the bleeding time. Option number 1 will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 18. Serum of plasma bilirubin is increased in option number 1 aplastic anemia, number 2 macrocytic anemia, number 3 hemolytic anemia, number 4 iron deficiency anemia. Fact available regarding this question it is hemoglobin is the breakdown hemoglobin is the breakdown into a compound called bilirubin. High level of bilirubin in the bloodstream may be a sign of hemolytic anemia. High level of this compound also occurs with the some liver and gallbladder diseases thus you may need to liver you may need to perform liver function test to find out what is the cause of the high bilirubin level generally it is the due to the breakdown of hemoglobin or rbc's seen in the hemolytic anemia so option number 3 hemolytic anemia will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 19 Washing of RBC is done by option number 1 alcohol, number 2 tap water, number 3 distilled water, number 4 normal saline. And the fact available regarding this question it is washing process of RBC is typically performed by normal saline that is 0.9% NaCl solution in either an open or closed system to remove the plasma proteins. So we can say it is option number 4 normal saline is the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 20. TCBS agar is a option number 1 enriched media, number 2 selective media, number 3 differential media, number 4 basic media. Fact available regarding this question it is thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose agar that is TCBS agar is a type of selective culture plate or media that is used in the microbiology laboratories to isolate Vibrio species especially Vibrio cholerae. So we can say it is one of the example of selective media option number 2 will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 21. 
Hepatitis B virus is option number one double stranded RNA virus number two single stranded DNA virus number three double stranded DNA virus number four single stranded RNA virus fact available regarding this question it is Hepatitis B virus is a partially double stranded DNA virus a species of genus Orthohepedo Hepedna virus and a member of the Hepe Hepedina Viridi family of viruses. This virus causes the disease hepatitis B or hepatitis. Rest of the hepatitis viruses that means hepatitis A, C, D and E are the examples of single stranded RNA virus. So we can say it is option number 3 double stranded RNA virus oh, sorry double stranded DNA virus is the correct answer for hepatitis B. Move to the next question number 22. Following are anti sorry following are anaerobic bacteria except option number one staphylococcus number two pseudomonas number three streptococcus number four clostridium and the fact available regarding this question it is pseudomonas species are gram negative aerobic bacilli measuring 0.5 to 0.8 micrometer by 1.5 to 3 micrometer in dimension motility is a motility is by a single polar flagellum species are distinguished by the biochemical and dna hybridization test so we can say it is pseudomonas that is the example of aerobic microorganism so option number two will be the correct answer for this question rest of the three staphylococcus streptococcus and clostridium are the examples of anaerobic bacteria move to the next question number 23 following are the steps of pcr that is polymerase chain reaction except option number one coding and indexing number two denaturation number three annealing number four extension pcr is based on three simple steps required for any dna synthesis reaction number one denaturation of template into single strands number two annealing of primers to the each original strand for new strand synthesis number three extension of the new dna strands from the primers so these are the three steps of the PCR reaction. So from the given information we can say it is option number one coding and indexing is not the step of the PCR. So option number one will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 24. Reticulocytes are usually stained by option number one Leishman stain number two Jimsa stain number three Wright stain number four Brilliant Cressile blue stain. Fact available regarding this question it is Supravital staining is a method of staining used in microscopy to examine living cells that have been removed from an organism. It differs from the intravital staining which is done by injecting or otherwise introducing the stain into the body. The most common supravital stain is performed on reticulocytes using neumethylene blue or brilliant crescent blue which makes it possible to see the reticulos filamentous pattern of ribosomes characteristics of characteristically precipitated in this live immature red blood cells by the supravital stain so we can say from the given information we can say it is brilliant cressile blue or new methylene blue is the stain that is used to stain the reticulocytes or immature red blood cells so option number four will be the correct answer for this question Move to the next question number 25. Blood for transfusion is collected in which anticoagulant? And the options are number 1 heparin, number 2 EDTA, number 3 CPDA, number 4 all of the above. Fact or information available regarding this question it is citrate phosphate dextrose solution with adenine that is CPDA is an anticoagulant and preservative of choice for the storage of blood. It can prolong the red blood cells storage lifespan up to the 35 days usage of cpda improves the post transfusion wise visibility and improve improves the glucose and atp level in the blood so it is cpda that is used as the anticoagulant of choice in blood for transfusion in blood bank so option number three cpda will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 26 Lowenstein Jensen medium and Loeffler serum slope are sterilized by option number one autoclaving number two inspiration number three filtration number four hot air oven fact available regarding this question it is method for preparation of 
Lovenson Jensen Media, it is suspend 37.24 grams of Lovenson Jensen powder in 600 ml of purified or distilled water containing 12 ml of glycerol. Heat if necessary to dissolve the medium completely. Sterilize by autoclaving at 15 lbs pressure or 121 degree celsius for 15 minutes. Whereas the procedure for making the Loeffler serum medium it is suspend 10 grams of Loeffler serum medium base in 250 ml of distilled water at temperature of 45 degree celsius mix well powder and water now add 750 ml of sterile bovine serum mix well and dispense into required tubes that is slants to make this land and sterilized by the autoclaving at 100 degree celsius for 10 to 15 minutes so we can say it is both the medias are sterilized by using autoclaving at 121 or 100 degree celsius for 10 to 15 minutes so it is option number one autoclaving is the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 27 blood agar is a type of option number one enrichment media number two selective media number three enriched media number four all of the above fact available regarding this question it is blood agar are enriched medium used to culture those bacteria or microbes that do not grow easily such bacteria are called fastidious fastidious as they demand a special special enriched nutritional environment as compared to those routine bacteria so you can say blood agar is an example of enriched media option number three will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 28 which is the largest virus in size and the options are option number one parvovirus number two herpes virus number three pox virus number four adenovirus fact available in form of table it is the size of parvovirus is about 18 to 26 nanometer size of herpes virus it is one around 160 nanometer well the size of pox virus is 240 to 300 nanometer in this size whereas the adenovirus is 90 to 100 nanometer in this size so from the given information we can say it is pox virus that is the largest virus from the given option option number three will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 29 which of the following has smallest ring form in the rbc that has thin cytoplasm and the options are number one plasmodium vivax number two plasmodium falciparum number three plasmodium ovale or oval number four plasmodium malaria and the fact available regarding this question it is ring form of trophozoites that is rings of plasmodium falciparum are oftenly thin and thin and delicate measuring on average one fifth of the diameter of the red blood cells that is the smallest among the all plasmodium species rings may be may possess one or two chromatin dots they may be found on the periphery of the rbc that is the one of the characteristics of the plasmodium falciparum so from the given information we can say it is option number two plasmodium falciparum that has the smallest ring form in the rbc so option number two will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 30 mcv is found decrease in all conditions except option number one iron deficiency anemia number two anemia of chronic disease number three thalassemia number four megaloblastic anemia the fact available regarding this question it is megaloblastic anemia causes macrocytic anemia from the ineffective red blood cells production and intramedullary hemolysis macrocytic anemia with increased mean corpuscular volume that is mcv defined as more than 100 femtoliter is a hallmark of megaloblastic anemia but leukopenia and thromocytopenia are also frequently present so from the given information we can say it is megalo megaloblastic anemia where mcv is usually increases in rest of the three that means iron deficiency anemia anemia of chronic disease and thalassemia mcv is found to be decreased generally so here option number four megaloblastic anemia will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 31 which of the following is not a cause of hyperuricemia and the options are number one gout number two lash nahan syndrome number three consumption of red meat number four defective renal tubule disease and the fact available regarding this question it is gout occurs when a person's body builds up excess amount of uric acid or uricemia number three lash nahan syndrome 
is a condition that occurs almost exclusively in male. It is characterized by neurological and behavioral abnormalities and the overproduction of uric acid. And in last, organ meats that is sweet bread or liver or tongue are particularly high in the purines which can increase your uric acid level and spur to a gout attack. Red meat, beef, venison or bison in general are higher in purines that then compared to the white meats and should be eaten only occasionally. So we can say it is red meat or also associated with the high level of uric acid. So from the given information we can say it is option number 4 defective renal tubule is not associated with the hyperuricemia rest of the 3 are directly indirectly associated with the high, high level of uric acid or hyperuricemia. So option number 4 will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 32. Beer's law states that the darker the color produced the more light absorbed which indicates option number 1 longer wavelength required number two lower the concentration of analyte number three higher the concentration of analyte number four more light transmitted fact available regarding this question it is beer's law states that the concentration of a chemical solution is directly proportional to the its absorption of light so higher the absorption higher will be the concentration of the solution so option number three higher the concentration of analyte or solute Solute or solution will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 33. Hemolysis has higher interference for the determination of option number 1 potassium, number 2 bilirubin, number 3 glucose, number 4 sodium. And the fact available regarding this question it is of all routine blood test, plasma or serum potassium measurement is one of the most sensitive to the effect of hemolysis because red cell potassium concentration is so much higher than that of the plasma approximately 20 times higher so hemolysis can cause a spurious high plasma potassium concentration in case of hemolysis so from the given information we can say it is potassium level that is that has the higher interference due to the hemolysis so option number one will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 34 Cytology smear for sputum is fixed with option number 1 toluene, number 2 benzene, number 3 10% ethanol, number 4 95% ethanol. And the fact or information available regarding this question it is the sensitivity of sputum cytology for the diagnosis of malignancy increases with the number of specimen examined. Multiple samples are collected over several days early morning deep cuff specimens are required. Expectorations can also be induced by having a patient inhale nebulized saline. In the peak and smear technique, fresh sputum is examined for the tissue fragments or blood. Smears are prepared from the areas containing these elements and are fixed in 95% ethanol. When prompt preparation is not possible, the patient should be prefixed the specimen by expectorating in a 70% ethanol solution. So it is generally 95% ethanol that is used to fix cytological smear of sputum. Option number 4 will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 35. Xylene is used in histology for option number 1 fixation, number 2 dehydration, number 3 clearing, number 4 embedding. Fact available regarding this question it is xylene is a chemical commonly used in the histology lab as a clearing agent. Clearing agents are the agent that are used to make the slide easier to read by making the tissue transparent or clear. So it we can say it is option number three clearing agent as xylene is used in the histology. So option number three will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 36. What is the wavelength corresponds to the UV visible region? And the options are number one 25 to 50 micrometer, number two 400 to 800 nanometer, number 3 600 to 900 nanometer number 4 2.5 micrometer to 1 millimeter fact available regarding this question it is ultraviolet visible region spectro spectrophotometers use a light source to illuminate a sample with light across the uv to the visible wavelength ranges from the electromagnetic spectrum typically from 190 to 
900 nanometer and UV range normally extends from 100 to 400 nanometer with divisible range approximately from 400 to 800 nanometer. So from the given information we can say it is option number 2 400 to 800 nanometer is the, is the wavelength of corresponding to the UV visible region. So option number 2 will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 37. Glucose in CSF ranges from option number 1 3 to 12 milligram per deciliter, number 2 50 to 80 milligram per deciliter, number 3 100 to 160 milligram per deciliter, number 4 more than 160 milligram per deciliter. Information available regarding this question it is glucose level in CSF should be around 50 to 80 milligram per 100 ml or deciliter or greater than two third of the blood sugar level in the so that is the sugar present in the serum or plasma so we can say it is option number 2 50 to 80 milligram per deciliter will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 38 microbiological waste should be collected in which colored coated bucket according to the who and the options are number one red number two yellow number three blue number four black information available regarding this question it is red colored non chlorinated plastic bags or container will be appropriate for the waste collection of microbiological laboratory according to the who so we can say it is option number one red bag will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 39 Protein content of exudative fluid is option number 1 less than 1 gram per deciliter, number 2 1 to 2 grams per deciliter, number 3 2 to 3 grams per deciliter, number 4 more than 3 grams per deciliter. Fact available regarding this question it is the protein concentration of an exudate usually exceeds 3 grams per deciliter. Exudate LD activity is greater than 0.67 times of the upper limit of normal protein content of the serum so we can say it is generally around greater than 3 grams per deciliter so option number 4 will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 40 the closeness of agreement between a test result and the accepted true value or true value is called option number 1 precision number 2 imprecision number 3 accuracy number 4 inaccuracy Fact available regarding this question it is the ability of an instrument to measure the accurate value is known as the accuracy. In other words, we can say it is the closeness of the measured value to the standard or true value. So from the given information, we can say it is option number three accuracy. That means the closeness of agreement between the test result and the accepted true value or standard value. So here option number three will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 41. Catalyst test is used to differentiate option number one staphylococci from streptococci number two enterobacteria from from mycobacteria number three streptococcus pneumonia from alpha hemolytic streptococcus number four clostridium from staphylococcus and the fact available regarding this question it is catalyst test is used to differentiate staphylococci that is catalyst positive from streptococci that is catalyst negative the enzyme catalyzed is produced by the bacteria that respires using oxygen and protects them from the toxic toxin pro, byproducts of the oxygen metabolism. So we can say it is generally used to differentiate streptococci from the staphylococci or staphylococci from the streptococci. Option number one will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 42. In which year? was bp koirala memorial cancer hospital established and the options are number one in 1975 number two 1985 number three 1980 number four 1992 and the correct answer for this question it is established in the year 1992 so option number four will be the correct answer move to the next question number 43 which of the following is which of the following is an example of aldehyde fixative and the options are option number one glutaraldehyde number two ethyl alcohol number 3 osmium tetroxide number 4 potassium permanganate and the fact available regarding this question it is most commonly used aldehyde fixatives are 4 percent formaldehyde 4 percent glutaraldehyde or 2 percent formaldehyde plus 2 percent glutaraldehyde refer also referred to as kernoveskis solution so 
we can say it is option number one glutaraldehyde is also is an example of aldehyde fixative option number one will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 44 the specific gravity of brine solution is option number one 1.1 1 .1, number two 1.3 number three 1.2 number four 1.4 the fact available regarding this question it is brine is a concentrated solution of salt in water brine solution will have a specific gravity of 1.17 brine solution is a used as a preservative in meat packing and pickling in refrigeration and cooling system brine solution are also used as a heat transfer media because of their low freezing temperature or as vapor absorption agents because of their low vapor pressure so from the given information we can say the specific gravity of brine solution it is around 1.2 option number 3 will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 45 gram molecular weight of solute per liter solution is called option number one normal solution number two molar solution number three molar solution number four desi normal solution the fact available regarding this question it is a molar solution is defined as the aqueous solution that contains one mole or one gram molecular weight of the compo compound dissolved in one liter of solution so from the given information we can say it is equal to the one nor molar solution so option number three will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 46 in bp koirala memorial hospital medical oncology department was started in option number one 1990 number 2 1992 number 3 200 and 2010 number 4 2050 2015 and the correct answer for this question it is started in the 1992 in the year 1992 so option number 2 will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 47 sample collection associated error is option number 1 pre analytical error number 2 analytical error number 3 post analytical error number 4 pre pre analytical error and the fact available regarding this question it is the most commonly reported types of pre analytical errors are number one missing sample or test request number two wrong or miss wrong or missing identification number three contamination from infusion route number four hemolyzed clotted or insufficient sample number five inappropriate container number six inappropriate blood to anticoagulant ratio and number seven inappropriate transport and storage condition these are all the seven are the most commonly reported pre-analytical errors so from the given information we can say it is sample collection associated error is associated with the it is one of the pre-analytical errors so option number one will be the correct answer for this question Move to the next question number 48. BP Koirala Memorial Hospital perf performs which of the following? Option number 1. Preservation, diagnosis and treatment of cancer. Number 2. Produce human resources related to the cancer treatment. Number 3. Ensure safety measures for storing radioactive substance for cancer treatment. Number 4. All of the above. And the, all the activities are done in the BP Koirala Memorial Cancer Hospital. So, option number 4 will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 49. According to the budget of 2078 in the calendar of Nepal calendar, we, what is the amount of money provided to a patient of cancer monthly? Option number one, rupees three thousand. Number two, rupees five thousand. Number three, rupees seven thousand. Number four, rupees nine thousand. And the correct answer for this question it is rupees five thousand is provided monthly to the patients of cancer. So. Option number two will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next and last question of this question paper. The medical system or systems included under the health services is or are option number one allopathy, number two ayurved, number three homeopathy, number four all of the above. And we all know it is all are the medical systems or systems included under the health services. That means allopathy, ayurvedic and allopathic homeopathy practices all are done in the included in the medical system so here option number four will be the correct answer for this question that's all for the today thank you for watching the video please subscribe our channel laptech world and if you like our work then like and share 
our videos with your friends thank you thank you very much